Sam Pinto's hard work <laughs> all in this resort. When I bought the property, I was probably 27. 27? It all started because I was hating the beach. But how did you know he was the one? <laughs> in love and everything. Uh, so he has to be. Hungry mermaid. Okay, everything here is mermaid. <laughs> this is my dream. Everything that happens to you, your decisions in life, is because of your family, what happened to you in your childhood. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are finally here. After five hours on the road, we are now at Sam Pinto's Beach Resort. An amazing story of how she invested and built the resort of her dreams. Hello! Hello! Hello there! How are you? Hi, Sam! Hello! Hi! Say hi! Hello! Hello! I am Tita Karen. Hi, hi. What is your name? Nina. Okay, Sam! It's How so are nice you? to be here! Yeah. Thank My you for coming! My gosh! Uh, this is, guys, amazing. Look at it. Sam Pinto's hard work. <laughs> All in go this it, go resort. It. Go it. So Sam, how old were you when you first bought this? When I bought the property, I was probably 27. 27? And how big is this property? 3.5 hectares. Oh my! <laughs> okay, ikuti natin. So what is this area? So when the guests come... So when the guests come, this is the reception. Nice. Uh, the reception is the newest addition building. Wala okay. to dati, kasi dun yung reception dati. So, uh -oh. parang we feel like we need a reception that's bigger. Yeah. What does she want? Ding ding. She ding, wants ding. to press the ding uh, ding. Ding ding here. Yes. Ah! <laughs> so cute! Just to look at this. Ito po ang receptionist ng resort yes. to welcome you here. Okay, so. So you put the swings here, and then look at that. Okay, oh, let's yes. go here. So this is our mini shop. Uh oh, is I, this a line you designed? Yes, I actually have a swimmer line. It's okay. called Serena as well. Uh oh. <laughs> so we sell them here, and these are the mermaid blankets. Yes. Why did you call the resort La Serena? Because I'm a mermaid. Ah, uh, <laughs> talaga. You embody the mermaid. <laughs> mermaid talaga ako. As uh -oh. in, I learned to swim first before walking. So parang. So what age did you learn to swim? Super baby bond. Talaga. Less than one, I uh -oh. think. My mom let go me na sa, sa pool. So you can shop here. This is your brand. Nagde design ka na. Yes, I took up fashion design. Yeah. And then I still continued the passion and the love with swimwear. Yeah. Kasi nga para lahat connected resort, swimwear. Yeah. Men Meron din akong clothing line, but it's resort wear naman siya. Yeah, like this, this is so bagay. This is so you if gagawa ka ng gantong style. Right? Right? Yeah. Yes. Super. Wow, okay. Tignan lang po natin ito. Ang earrings ni Sam ay hindi lang po nasa tenga. Ay, nandito rin po siya. So, what do you call this? A belly ring. A belly ring. When did you have... High school pa ako na. Meron? I know, right? I'm one of those. So when guests come, of course, they check in. Yeah. And the first thing they see is this lap pool. Yeah. Beautiful. So this, actually, we call it lounge pool. Uh-oh. -uh. Because mababa lang siya, three feet lang siya. Kasi it was designed to be just lounging. You sit uh -uh. and drink with your friends. And now that I have a kid, perfect din siya for kids. Kasi yes. mababa lang, walang malulunod. I wanted to ask you, how many rooms does La Serena have? We have 15 rooms. 15 rooms, and per room, how how many people can one room accommodate? All rooms are good for four. Wow! So technically, how many people total? Seventy. Seventy. Oh wow! And you are hands-on sa resort. Actually, my sister is the one handling the operations. Uh -oh. Ako sa marketing, ako sa the designing, yeah. ako sa fixing. Uh -oh. Which is good, no? My balance. So let's look at one of the rooms. So this is the deluxe room. Yes. Oh, wow. Sorry, my aircon. Ang ganda. I love the interior. So the room is designed talaga for families and friends. Kaya two queen beds and can fit four people. And I would have to say uh, the room is big. There are three designs per room. Hindi sila pare pareho. And then this is one of them. Oh, it's all Pinterest. <laughs> uh, no way! So you didn't get an interior designer per se? No, it was all me. <laughs> Ang galing niya. 
Actually, it reminds me of like Greece. Greece. Parang you're in Greece because it matches with the curtains. Check out the curtains. All white. <laughs> and pansinin yun the little details of Sam. Sam, explain this. Her curtain holder. Oh, oh, you know, mas maganda yung dante. May shell pang ayon dante. Pero nina nakaw oh, oh, ng mga tao. Oh, bilang isa isa sila na wala kasi oh, it's so nice. It's a, it, there used to be like a dangling shell. Yeah, there. but look how beautiful. But I made those. Ginoo mo to. Ako gumawa ng first batch niyan with all the shells. Oh, na inuwe. <laughs> Even okay. these, ako gumawa na. <laughs> no, wait, Sam, you made these? I made those. I glued all of oh, them. Oh wow wow. <laughs> Labor of love pala oh, ang super. resort mo. So, it kept you busy and yes. it kept you creative. Exactly. And look at this. I thought it was wallpaper. Is it? It's a mural. Spray painted. Look at that. Whose idea was this? Yours? All me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kasi my family travel a lot. Eh, tatlo kami in uh -oh. one room. So, kung may nagsashower, hindi mo na pwede gamitin yung toilet. Oo nga. So, yeah. at least with this one, one can shower. The other one can brush their teeth. Yes. And oh, one oh. can use the toilet. Yeah. Okay, but you do have bigger rooms. We do have bigger rooms. It's a super deluxe. Ang actual difference niya lang is mas malaki siya. Oh, oh. And we can actually put a extra bed so it can fit six people. Yeah. Oh, look, ang ganda nito. There's yeah. a hammock. There's a swing. Swing. A hammock and a swing in every room. Yeah, That's beautiful. So now we move on to, this is actually the gazebos. Nice. Then people like to sit here. Yes. Chill. Well, their kids are swimming. Whoever's uh -oh. swimming, they can sit here and so chill. So do you think you'll retire here? No? Yeah. You're really here all the time. Yes, for Little sure. I'm just waiting for Anthony. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, it'll be a while before you retire. Mm -hmm. How old are you now, if you don't mind? I am 33. Gosh, guys, I wish I was 33 again. <laughs> Ang hirap nito. I'm in my 50s. Oh, uh, diba? Bata pa. Yes, my gosh. forever young. You'll be working for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yes, this oh. is non stop. This is the super deluxe room. Yes. Ang difference ng is it's bigger and uh -oh. it has a connecting door. I see. This one. Can we see that? Will it open or there's a guest? There's a guest. There's a guest. So, talagang you can do big families here and here. Exactly. I'm curious. Pag ganito, what? Is the rate per night? This is six five a night. Oh, six pretty thousand. good. The the lux room is five thousand five hundred. Because it's six five a night, and ah, you can have four people yes. here. That's so good. So ito naman iba may mirror. It doesn't have the canopy. Yes. Dun lang nagchange no ng konte. Meron may guest kasi sa isang kwarto, oh, but oh. the other one has mosquito net naman na nakaganon. Ah, talaga? Yes. My gosh. Were you ever? Like rebelde, or you were like a good girl. I think I was mostly good. Ni mga rebelde ko lang mga piercing. Ah, yun lang yun na yun. Dante, I had like nine piercings. Oh my gosh! Yeah, because my mom din pang yapayaga naman kami gumimik. Oh oh. Ni naman siya sobrang strict, so not really rebellious. Yeah. What was the one job that changed your life? Definitely, Pinoy Big Brother. <laughs> Yun talaga. <laughs> Yun talaga. Uh -oh. Bumalik na yung mundo ko after uh -oh. that. <laughs> yeah. So now we're in the restaurant. Okay, so it's called Hungry Mermaid. Okay, everything here is mermaid. <laughs> Kasi mermaid si ano. <laughs> oh wow, this is so nice. Look at that. So the restaurant is a homegrown restaurant. Yeah. Originally. We may ibang naga handle management na to, but hindi nakinaya. Cause from Manila siya. Oh 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 oh. So I don't cook. My sister don't cook. My mom doesn't cook. So wala kami alam sa restaurant and food. So at least the people here, they're super magaling and they guide the dust talaga. So ang nangyare you hired locals. Yes, they're all local. Ang galing. So what does the restaurant serve? Mostly Filipino foods and may mga seafood. Kasi siyempre yeah. nasa beach tayo. So yeah. kailangan ng mga seafood. Sam, a resort that's fully yours, fully paid, before 30 years old. Paano mo nagawa yun? <laughs> Actually, it all started kasi na mahilig ako sa beach. That's the number one. Tapos, I tried surfing sa La Union. And parang na-inlove ako sa sport. Kasi I'm very sporty eh. I'm a Sagittarius. So I love anything to do with the water. Free diving, surfing, ganyan. Love na love ko yan. Tapos, sabi, may nagsabi sa akin, Oh, pumunta ka sa Balair. Sabi ko, ano meron sa Balair? Parang, you don't 
hear much about Baler kasi diba? So, sige, try natin. And nung pumunta kami dito, na love talaga ako. Kasi sobrang ganda niya. Plus, yung beach niya, pwede ka mag-surf kahit saan. Hindi siya na very limited lang, na doon ka lang pwede mag-surf. Ito, buong stretch ng Baler pwede. Magkano kinulog mo noon? Do you remember sa lupa? Full bayad na <laughs> I think it was 17 million. So you lang na save mo sa showbiz endorsements etc. Actually, pinang malaki talaga yung endorsements because I had the Sun Mic Light, I have Cream Silk, and my contract sa GMA tatlong years yun na so lahat yun dito ko invest. Pero ang galing mo lupa mo in invest. Oh yes, kasi nanay ko kasi ano siya estate lawyer. Sabi niya lupa talaga kailangan kasi hindi bumababa ang lupa eh. And then kaya naging resort siya kasi dapat bahay lang to. And then eh ang laki ng property na nabili ko. Sabi ko, hala, ang laki masyado para pa lang beach house. Lupa sa ko, bakit i-share ko kaya to paradise na to sa everybody? So, ayan, nabuhay ang resort. And also, yan yung end goal ko eh. After showbiz, kasi hindi naman forever ang showbiz, unless you want it to. Gusto ko tumira sa beach. And then, business ko na din, di ba? So, it's a win-win situation. <laughs> I live in the beach and I make money. Nung tinatayo mo to, were you already married? Not to Anthony? yet. You were still together? Yes. Oh. Actually, not yet together. Kasi the resort is seven years old. Kami ni Anthony... All in all, five years na kami. Married two years pa lang. And what did he say when he saw you that you had this resort? Mas lalo siyang in love. Sigo, galing mo. Na-impress. Galing mo. Meron ka na nito. Let's talk about Anthony, no? So how did you meet? Oh, we met at a concert. Dua Lipa concert. Meron kaming mga common friends. Ay, ay, guwapa naman ito. Hahaha. So, she said, oh, it's so beautiful. So, that's it. We started from there and then we dated. So, it all just started from there. What was different about dating Anthony compared to, let's say, being with somebody who is fully in showbiz? Because you see, Anthony, of course, he's a basketball player. I feel like he's more private a little bit. Not like someone, an actor who's in show business. Everybody knows him, buong buhay niya, alam ng mga tao. Half private, half not. <laughs> Tanong ko lang, nagka-boyfriend ka ba talaga from show business? <laughs> Wunde. <laughs> Bakit? Why not? Well, because maybe I want it more private. Because having a actor boyfriend and I'm an actress, I feel like it's very public. Yeah. Yeah. So, para mas gusto ko quiet yung buhay. <laughs> uh oh. But how did you know he was the one? Yeah. This is actually a funny story because I never thought I'll get married ever and have a baby. Kasi parang I'm as happy na <laughs> being alone. And then I met him and I parang I realized he is the one. How? You just feel it. Kasi parang I've been through. A couple of boys, boyfriends. Outside of showbiz. Outside of showbiz. So, parang hindi eh. Even if I tried, hindi uh, ko ma-imagine sarili ko na papakasalan ko siya. With Anthony, na-imagine ko. Ganon. What was the wedding like? Oh my gosh. The wedding was very intimate. Kasi, apat lang guests namin. My mom, my sister, his twin brother, and the wife. Why did you decide na apat lang kayo? Because it was the peak of pandemic. <laughs> So it was very intimate. It was in a Conrad Hotel, and but it was so pretty and it was so nice and very dreamy, very with the sunset. What was that like marrying during the pandemic? And then naka naka ano lang naka live yung parents niya sa Australia. Kaka iyak na mo. They couldn't fly or anything, but this was kasi set matagal na eh. Asin bayad nul ha? Oh oh oh, sugo pa lah. So kaya tuloy na natin. What has changed? Tung ikina sa Having someone there for you all the time is para kami best friends, para kami friend. Asin, I te kalahat pinag-usapan namin. Oh, and hindi ka ba natakot no nung nabuntis ka? My gosh, it might affect my career. Kasi maraming kasamahan mo sa showbiz ganon. Not really, because I was on a break na that time. So para I feel like also this is the right time to have a baby. It wasn't really planned. It just happened, and then parang it just felt right. 
So, the food in Hungary, Merb. Okay. So, ano yung paborito ng mga pumupunta dito? We have the Liempo. Okay, let's try it. No? This is what? Mia's favorite. She's already yes. eating. Actually, you know, the best is the salad. Mm. I don't know what they mm. do with the salad that comes with it. You like it, Mia? You're eating with Tita Kare? You want me to eat with you? Yeah, please. Go get me. So, si Sam Pinto, with this body, you eat naman? I eat everything. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's nice to know, guys. <laughs> okay. Mm. And then, we have the calamari. This is easy to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is always a staple pag beach resort, no? Oo, kailangan ng seafood talaga pag beach mm -hmm. resort. Favorite ko, shrimp! Let's yes. get it. Mahalaga talaga in a resort, masarap ang food. Of course. Oh. Mm. So good, yung sarap ng templa. Ang winner ng Diempo, ha? You like it? Super, ang sarap niya. Right, Mia? So good! <laughs> so this is Sam and Anthony's house when they're here, right? So, kumbaga, may bahay rin sila sa sarili nilang Resort. Beware of Murdogs. Ako yung Murdog. Murdog. So this is where you live. Yes, this uh -oh. is the best part of the whole resort because I have both views. Yes. The swimming pool. There's the Murdog. Hello, Murdog. Lab. Labrador. Lab. This is Hallie. She's 11. And this is Kylie. Aww. She's seven. My sister's dog. This is like heaven for the dogs that are in the beach. <laughs> so, ang ginawa ni Sam is the business is here, right? So, it's a beautiful resort right there. See? And then you built a... You live on top of the restaurant. restaurant. Smart. Right. So, yeah, I have the best view. The beach. The beach. Oh, oh. Actually, the theme naman for the house is tropical. Yes. It's, it's oh, oh. not really mermaid anymore. But I yeah. naman. The couch and the dining, these are all the samples of the furniture. No way! Yeah. So, the rejects dito na punta sa tao. Ay, ang galing! <laughs> so talagang nagtipid ka that way, which is good. Smart spending. I didn't have to buy the couch. Oh, oh. I didn't have to buy a dining table. Because why is si Sam? Yun yun. <laughs> so this oh. is my room. Guys, I'm the big big lad. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! This is so cute. Hello there. What are you doing? Playing. Ano to? Ikea lang yan. Ay, ang galing. <laughs> it's really a bed. Na yun talaga ang headdress? Yes. You buy it separately, actually. Uh, then you put it together? You just put it together. Oh. And my surfboard! And I was gonna that say... That I do not use! Halatang yung love niya for <laughs> surfing, oh. Andito. I have two boards, actually. Ito yung hindi ko ginagamit kasi masyado siyang mahirap gamitin. Look at this. Look this at the view. This is the best view. Yung okay, can out. you open niya? And I was gonna say, ang laki ng terrace mo. I know. Originally, hindi to dapat terrace, eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi sa ilalim is the public bathroom and okay. the generator. Yes. Eh, sayang naman, di ba? Sa gawin sayang ko yung space. Yeah. veranda. Oh, oh. Ay, beautiful. And then this is Look at the this. best view. You wake up every morning. Yes. You entered show business. You were 19 years old through PBB. Yes. Now, ano ang kwento ng buhay mo? Marami pumapasok sa PBB. You know, they need to support your family. But what was your family like? I grew up with my mom. They separated when I was six years old. Okay naman kami ng dad ko. And he has another family. I have two half-sisters. But did that affect you in terms of, let's say, your choices with relationships? Yes, I think so. But that's why I feel like I'm really going to be able to do I didn't grow up with my father figure. So guys are very... I was learning them, every boyfriend that I had. But growing up, um, of course, my mom had to work a lot because she's only one, right? So I grew up with my sister and the yayas. Actually, there are times na nga na feeling ko, ako lang mag-isa naglalaro ng Barbie. My sister kasi is not very outgoing, so ako lang mag-isa sa labas. And then my mom was, was she there? She was there, but not fully there because she was working, working. all the time. How did you oh, join? Yes. Because I was already with Viva at that time. And then they were asking me, oh, meron auditions ng PBB, do you want an audition? I was like, oh. Okay, why not? But like, did you want to be talaga in showbiz? No, that's another thing. Oh, oh. Never in my life na naisip ko kasi mag showbiz ako. Kasi nasabi mo na sa Viva ka na. Yes, kasi um, I signed because of Claire de la Fuente. Paano? Oh, I did a music video with the band Mayonnaise. Parang I think she was handling them that time. 
And then, sabi niya, oh, try mo mag artista. <laughs> so she brought me to Viva. So like, okay, why not? Oh, I was doing commercials already kasi since I was... A teenager. Yeah. yeah. Because you are one of the most beautiful faces <laughs> I've seen. I told you that. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, maybe. Because I'm sort of game for anything. Why not try? If it's there, yay. If it's not, it's also okay. And then biglang lahat ng opportunities nandiyan na agad agad. I'm like, whoa. And, and this, the hard part for me though is I wasn't prepared for showbiz. Like, I didn't do singing lessons, acting lessons, dancing lessons. Sinalang na lang ako agad. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ako in live TV. <laughs> Hindi naman ako sumasayaw in my life. So I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. And then you joined PBB. Yes. That year, who won? Melay. Do you remember that experience? Oh yes, very much so. We were doing so many things, but felt like it was so slow. And then you learn things about yourself. Na ay kaya ko palang gawin to. Kasi they challenge you, eh. Oh. Mentally and physically, you learn to handle all the stress and all the pressure na pinapagawa sa yon. And then in the end, you realize. Eh, do you remember when you first earned your one million pesos? Yes. <laughs> and what did you do with the money? Nothing. <laughs> Just put in the bank and save. So saver ka. Yes. I actually bought the. I bought my car. <laughs> uh oh. And after that, one bag. Then I realized. Di ko naman ginagamit yung so, bag. So hindi ka maluho. Hindi talaga. I have just my basic bags, basic shoes, pero that's it. Pero the way I'm seeing you now, you're not really ma showbiz. Not really. <laughs> not at all. Oo. Talagang gusto mo yung buhay na simple. Sobrang chill lang ako. <laughs> What made you decide na huminto ng showbiz? Five years is a long time. Yep. Well, I think I was already happy with my life. Also, I got tired. Kasi grabe talaga yung... I was grinding every day. Like, to the point na pagod na pagod na ako. Parang like, oh, gusto ko pa ba to? I was asking myself. And then I was like, why not stop muna? And then think of my mental health. And then be just be happy for a little bit. And I felt like I'm content already with what I've done. Mm -mm. So, parang, sige, let's take a break. And how old were you then? I was 27 or 28. Bumalik ka sa abot kamay. Yes, abot kamay na pangarap. Oh, oh. And how was that? What was the adjustment like? I remembered why I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Napagod ka. Yeah. But I'm so happy na ito yung show na ginawa ko after so long because the people, director, all the cast, parang pamilya. Uh -oh. Ang saya, like hindi siya parang work, hindi siya stressful. And yeah, and the adjustment, my gosh, kinakabana naman ako ng first take ko. Kasi I, I feel like I haven't done it in so long. And what changed you when you had a baby, when you had Mia? Well, it's not just me anymore. I have to think of the baby, the family. And my sister always tells me, nag ka na. Talaga? Paano? Oh, paano daw? Hindi ko Hindi naman niya sinasagot. I guess I'm more responsible, more loving, more caring. <laughs> I guess I wasn't before. <laughs> oh, oh. What are you like as a mother? Very... Uh, hands-on because Mia kasi is very outgoing she loves learning new things she loves people so what I like to do is of course enhance all of that so dami namin ginagawa and I'm always there in everything that she does do you love being a mother? I say I, no but I think I secretly do because <laughs> <laughs> it's hard being a mom like with everything, I, I had to stop so many things. Yeah. Hindi ko na magawa yung mga dati kong ginagawa, mga love ko dati. Kasi, of course, I have to prioritize her. Oh, oh. Tulad ng ano? Surfing <laughs> and free diving. Pero now that she's a little bit older, I feel like I can do it more. Pero nung baby-baby siya, wala. Your relationship with your mom, what is that Oh, like? super lover. She, we tell everything. Para kaming friends. Minsan sasabi niya, oh sis, sis. <laughs> But <laughs> I mean, friends lang talaga. I like, consult her with everything talaga. She's the best. So you now understand your mom because you're now a, a mom. mom. Uh. Super! And 
of course, lahat ng di niya nagawa for me and my sister, ginagawa ko na din for my daughter. Like, my, my, I guess that's why I'm spending so much time with her. Because parang wala siya nun eh. <laughs> uh -oh. At the end of the day, your family is really priority. Oh yeah, definitely. Because that's your core. Everything that happens to you, your decisions in life, is because of your family. What happened to you in your childhood. Is it right to say that priority mo si Anthony? Yes, definitely. Because she, he's, my, he's my partner in life, in love, in everything. Uh, so he has to be. And that's what's changed. Yes. So now we move on to the function room. Oh! Uh -oh. So it can be events or corporate events. Yes. Yeah. And do people get married here all the time? Yes, mostly uh -oh. sa beach sila do. Uh -oh. Kasi mas maganda beach wedding. Yes, and then they use this for ano? For the reception. No? Family reunions, pwede din. Kahit no, kasi with, they can also set it up whatever you want uh -oh. it to be. So, kinwento nga ni Sam, this is a 3.5 hectare property. Look at that. Wow! It's like straight to the beach. And there's another pool. Yes. This is the beach pool. <laughs> Ang galing naman. When did you start the beach pool? Um, maybe two years later. What about the wear and tear? Oh, yes. Being in front of the beach. Yung mga na interview ko have beach resorts. Yan ang lagi nila sinasabi is ang bilis daw ng wear and tear. So, bra, because of the salty air, pati ito mga light, light bulbs. Uh oh, oh. Yung metal niya kinakalawa. Lahat nga Lahat daw. Talaga. So, what would you do anything differently? You just repaint and repaint. Talagang yun yun. Because some things are unavoidable na metal. They would really rust no matter what. Mga uh -oh. nails. Nails, oo. Oh -oh. Natuto ka dito, no? Ng, Super ano, construction. construction. <laughs> dito ka natuto. Oo, oh, mga terms nila. Oh -oh. Dito, alam ko na lahat. Oh -oh. Okay, look at this. Every area has a mermaid blanket. blanket. And, and sino, na, sino nagtahin ito? You can buy that in Shopee and Lazada. Ay, ang galing mo naman. <laughs> Pero yan ang loko. I love it. So, let's sit down to see this. Okay. Oh. Ay, ang ganda. So, if you want to rest, right? Yes. You lie under down the here. Yes. Okay, let's check this out. So, this is wow. the other pool na my beach view. Yes, ang ganda. So, this pool is a bit deeper than the other one. Four See, feet naman to. Alam mo, you're very young. And I know you bought this property in your 20s, pero to build a resort is a whole other... I know, I yeah. don't know what I was thinking. Hindi ka ba natakot noon, being very young, oh my gosh, ano to, lumubog ako sa utang, yung lahat ng savings ko mawala. Very confident. Talaga? Yeah. So, anong ginawa mo pa unti-unti? Pa unti-unti. When you were building? Yes. It just started with the three clusters, with the rooms, and this res uh, restaurant. Yun lang siya yung una. And then we started investing in more pools. Oh, uh oh. And the reception. Now we move on to the surf shack. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Jego. Oh, hello. Hello po. Mga taga Baler lahat yes. kayo. Siya yung surfer instructor oh, namin oh. ng resort. Parang siguro ang saya mag-surf dito no kasi hindi mabato. Exactly. Hindi dangerous. Puro sand. And and but the waves are are good. Yes. Wow. But flat siya ngayon no. Look at that. <laughs> what a dream to actually wake up and have the ocean in front of you. Pangarap ko to sa buhay. <laughs> Alam mo yon. ang feeling ko kaya ko attracted in doing house tours, farm tours, beach tours. <laughs> Kasi. <laughs> Kasi deep inside, di ba, yun ang wish list nating lahat. See? Grabe yung waves. Sarah. This is actually very calm. Oo. Oh, oh. Pag summer kasi, hindi na nga summer. Totoo yung global warming, guys. Yeah. Pero explain this. Punta tayo dito. Oh, look. yes. Yeah. So this is the beach warning flags and the rip currents. So yung beach warning flags, sasabi, don't swim, of course, if it's uh -oh. red. Kasi grabe yung waves dito. It can be uh -oh. very, very... Yeah, now it's low hazard. So you green yung flag. Green. So you can swim. It's, it's not scary. And then explain this. This is good. The rip current. Because of course, malaking waves dito eh. Uh -oh. So when you see a rip current, hihilahin ka palabas niyan eh. So kung feel mo, palayo ko na ng palayo, mag-swim ka sa side. Kasi dyan bumabalik yung tubig. 
Tampa wave. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So that's rip currents. Diyan normally nalulunod yung mga tao. But look at the beach, ha? So Baler is, well, this is like gray sand, mm -hmm. but it's so soft. Yes. Walang bato. What made you fall in love with Baler compared to, let's say, other beaches na short maganda rin ang beach? Actually, the waves here are amazing to yun surf yun. at. Talaga. Uh -oh. And it's not scary. Because it's scary when the corals are on the bottom. Yes, that's it. I'm going to have a lot of because of the corals. But here, it's super safe. We're not on the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's just one. It's so sad. So, what's going to happen, right? You can like, sit here, you can like, sit here, you can like, sit here, right? Yep. Do your prayer time, meditation time. Wow. When you bought this in your 20s, what did you say to your dad? Sam, what are you gonna do with 3.5 hectares? Because I'm also looking for a property. I'm like, it's not too much. Oh, oh. I want it. Really? So supportive. Super. Oh, oh. All the properties that we saw here, it's with her. Actually, there's a little part here in Baler. It's not sand. It's a big thing. Really? We checked it out too, but it was... I like the sand better uh -oh. than the stones. Yeah, what about your dad? Has he seen the resort? I don't think so. Oh. We haven't talked in a while. So wow. I'm not going to see Mia. Din. Do you need closure with that? Honestly, no. I'm at peace already. But I feel like if I open that door again, I'm going to hurt my heart. What are advice for those who are watching now? Who's in a similar situation? Alam mo yon? Well, it depends on their situation. I mean, if they're sometimes because my my half sisters can na okay naman kayo. But in my situation, okay, then naman kami. Well, for me, just be happy, guys. Yeah. Does forgiveness play a role? Definitely. Uh -oh. yeah. well, you won't be at peace and happy if you don't forgive. Yeah. So you've forgiven your father? Of course. Yeah. Matagal was that a long process? No, it was actually an easy process. Yeah. How did you do it? I just had to accept na wala na siya yeah. <laughs> sa life namin. Uh -oh. And just accept things. What is the biggest misconception about you? Oh, I feel like Marte ba ako? Since I'm in Marte daw ako, I'm masungit daw ako. But am I? I don't think so. No, because I'm very chill. So, if you don't want to talk to me, you don't want to talk to me. So, I think maybe they think that I'm masungit because of that. What is your long-term plan vision? Long-term plan vision is to put up more resorts. We're actually looking at other beach properties na, but this is hard. Oh, oh. Because we have to find. This took me a year. To find this property, as in Bong Baler in Nikot Namen. But right now we're looking for another beach property. We're thinking of Lucena, so at least two hours away from Manila. So yeah, to put maybe a chain of resorts or Airbnbs. Angelic. So you are really a businesswoman. I think I am. <laughs> and what about Anthony? Well, after basketball, he's gonna join, of course, the business because. He's a foodie, eh. mahilig magluto yan. So siya nabahala sa restaurant, wala akong alam sa pagkain. <laughs> oh, oh. Would you say you are your happiest today? Yes, I would say I'm, the, I'm my happiest today. Oh, like, oh. I'm very content with my life. <laughs> yeah. Is there a verse or a motto that you live by, a mantra that it describes who you are? Huh? Just follow your dreams. This is my dream. And if it's your dream, Kung mahirap or all the hard stuff about it, you will take it as a good thing, cause and you'll learn from it and make everything better. Mm -hmm.